everyone welcome back to my channel and thanks again for dropping by so in this video we're going to look at the secrets of splitting and spanning columns where we take this first paragraph and have it cross over both columns and this text here down the bottom I want them to be in a separate little columns within a column and we can do that easily within InDesign like this show you with something look like this so this one spans, this one splits. It's all just one text box. Here, it's just one text box. Not lots of text boxes all hacked together. Let's go and learn how to do that now in InDesign. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post videos like this. All right, with that out of the way, let's start it. So we've got a single text box here and I want to split it so that it spans on two columns. To do it, have it selected using the select tool and just click on this one. And along here, you should be able to see the number of columns, this one. Sometimes this doesn't show because not everything can fit on the screen, especially if you're working on a smaller screen. But don't fret, you can find it easily by selecting this one first and then go to object then text frame options here and you can hit preview so you'll see whatever is going on in the background and just hit okay all right moving on i'm going to go here and uh, have this uh, two columns and we're going to match the gutter which is the space between the columns this one this is the gutter so i'm going to maybe all right that's about it let's see hit w so you'll see what it looks like okay so i want my first paragraph this one actually to span both of these columns and the text to suck underneath. So you can do this easily. Just grab the type tool, the letter T here, and then click anywhere in this first paragraph. So just put it there. And along the top here, we need to go from character to paragraph. Normally you will find the span columns feature um, somewhere over here but if your workspace is like mine it's not showing you can still find it by clicking this little icon and then span columns there we go for the paragraph layout let's choose span column and if you hit preview it will show and it goes and spans that whole column isn't that handy? In the past, you had to put it in its own text box. Now you don't have to. You can have it flow along with the rest of the text. It's super easy. So that is how to span columns. Let's take a look at the how to split columns. I have this um, text ready. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to make a space somewhere here and then just paste it. And then there's these options down the bottom here, this ones, I would like them to be kind of side by side in a nice set of columns. Now in the past, I could copy and paste these into another separate text box and, and then split them into three columns or two columns, maybe then try and paste it back as an inline graphic and it will work, but it's not as easy as, as this option. So with all of them selected with a type tool, just switch to paragraph and you, um, you can see it over here somehow it's not showing so once again you have to click this little icon over there and then just click on span columns and instead of single column or span columns you need to choose the split column and it's going to split this column into two parts like this one it shows so we've got kind of too many columns you can also do um, three columns there or how many columns you want let's just make it into two and then click OK it's super super useful and very very quick and since we're already here I can also put bullet points on this or numbered list yeah, if that's what you want so as you can see it's just really a nice quick easy way to add those columns rather than jumping out to another text box or trying to play around with tabs all right that's going to be it for splitting and spanning columns thanks for watching and i hope that you've enjoyed the video and you found it useful and inspiring i would love to hear what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and give this a thumbs up keep watching and keep learning i'll see you next time bye